Down between John Jones and Francis Ngannou. All right, here's the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou. Of course, he has challenged for UFC gold. He learned a lot in that fight against Stipe Miocic, but for my money, this is the biggest power threat, punch for punch, in the UFC today. It's unbelievable the amount of power that Francis Ngannou possesses. But as you said, he learned in the Miocic fight because how could he not be learning? He's only been fighting for about five, six years. So this guy is truly a blank canvas. Every day, he's getting better and better and better. And he's one of the guys that you can see that before long, he will be wearing the UFC heavyweight title. And he has certainly given back to his native Cameroon, founded the Francis Ngannou Foundation. They have opened a gym over there, but Ngannou still with a lot of work to do here in the Octagon, and that effort continues in earnest here tonight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 33 years of age. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. Jones will have a one-inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion John Bones Jones! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway.
knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, we got it. Oh, strong punch there by Jones. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. It won't take many of those. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That kick blocked by Jones. That's how you defend the single leg. We march on three minutes to go. Jones gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. And Connor's shot is blocked. Big body kick land. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a good strike there by Johnny Bone. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch the clinch. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Lunges forward with a left there. Lands with the right hand. All right, so Francis Ngannou pretty patient here early on and leaning on his jab. When you look at a guy like Francis, who has such tremendous power, right behind a jab, it shows you how much he's evolving. He's not just certain for the knockout blow, he's trying to set it up. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis Ngannou. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Fifteen seconds. And they separate. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes. It's exactly what we expected. We expected we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Whoa, spinning back this. Didn't see that one coming. Jones goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attempt. So the numbers continuing to pile up here. 33 total strikes have landed for John Jones. And striking at a 40% clip tonight thus far against Francis Ngannou. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Head kick there blocked by Francis Ngannou. Jones gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And he landed the right hand there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He lands flush with that right hand. The 
Predator gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Just misses with the right. Ngana's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committed to it fully. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just out of range with that right hook. Big kick lands. Beautiful and potentially a critical takedown here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Francis Ngannou. Stop, stop, stop. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. 58 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily. 37% the accuracy thus far against John Jones. Switching stances here. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threats, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. He's out! Oh! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop this contest at three minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout.